All right, we need to find the volume and the surface area of this triangular prism. So let's look at the volume first. To find the volume, what we can do is find the volume of one of these layers. And then we can see from the 16 feet is the height. That tells us how many layers there are. So I just need the area of that triangle, and then I have a height of one. So the area of the triangle, for example, is a 12 by 5 triangle. So we're going to cut that in half, giving us a 30. And that would be square feet for the area. But since we're looking at volume, and this is a layer with a height of 1, we're going to say that this is cubic feet. Well, that's the area of one layer, 30 cubic feet. So if we multiply this by 16, that's how many layers there would be. Then we have the complete volume of this three-dimensional polyhedron. So just put that in the calculator. And that is our volume. Please don't forget to label this. On the test, you're going to lose points if you don't label it. All right, let's go ahead and find the surface area. This polyhedron has five faces. So I'm going to draw each one of them individually, and we'll just find the surface area of each. So I'm going to look here at the top. There's my right angle. There's a 5, 12, and 13. We don't really need that 13 for the triangle, though, so I'm going to erase it like these. And uh, that's one of the faces, but we actually have two of these triangles. Not that my drawings are great. So that is the top and the bottom of this shape. Now if I look at this front face, right account, this one, we can see this one is a 12. So I'll draw the rectangle. This is a 12 by 16 foot rectangle. And then we also have this rectangle here on the side, this one, which is, if we drew it, this is a 5 by 16, not that my rectangles are to scale. And finally, we have the back side right here, which uh, we can't see, but now that we've drawn it, we can. So I've kind of made a net out of this, and this is a 13 by 16 rectangle. We did already figure out the area of both of these triangles and found that they are both 30 square foots in this case. But uh, let's find the area of each of these rectangles. 12 by 16 is 192 square foots. 5 by 16 is 80 square foot. And then we got this green one right here. A 13 by 16 square foot, which is 208. So we're going to find the sum of these by adding them all together. And when I do, so 540 square feet is our answer. Right here. So that is the surface area. By the way, separating it like this, again, is like drawing the net. If you prefer to draw the net, that's fine. If you prefer just to work with the drawing, kind of like I did there with the colors, you may do that as well.